Welcome to week one of Introduction to Web Design and Development, DDG 2310. Let's take a look in the coursework section here. And we're going to look at week one. By now, you should have filled out the online learning readiness questionnaire. Also in this week one folder, we have the syllabus, if you want to read that. We have an introduction to the course, an introductory video you should watch. You should have downloaded Adobe Dreamweaver for your home computer. There's a link there where you can access that online. If you cannot, for some reason, download that to your computer, you can always come in and use the school labs or come in during my office hours and use the Mac lab or the PC lab where I'm holding my office hours. And that's listed here. I would also like you to direct me, uh, contact me directly via phone call or text. Set up a Skype appointment with me or come in to my office hours during week one. I want you to contact me one of these ways so I know you're on board and ready to get started. If you do that this first week, you will receive 20 points extra credit There's also my contact information here, the student learning outcomes for the course, some information about Adobe Dreamweaver Creative Cloud updates. Uh, the Adobe Creative Cloud updates every couple months and some things change so there may be some discrepancies between the latest version of Adobe Dreamweaver and the textbook. And this section here describes what you can do with any of those issues. There's a list here if you want to download the version, the same version as the book. Or you could just complete as much of the book work as possible, and there may be a few things you can't do according to the book, and you can skip over those or try to find workarounds for those, either through emailing me or looking those up on your own. Either way, do the best you can, and you'll get full credit for your textbook work. You should have your textbook by now. There's my contact information and my uh, photo there. Once again, there's office hours, lab time. And for week one, this week we will learn about the basics of web design and Dreamweaver. We will also begin to work our way through the textbook. Now, each of your textbook lessons feature step-by-step -step projects. We also look at related design information in this folder. From time to time, we will look at case studies, technology videos, artists and designers, and other information. We will also post to the discussion board this week in the class discussions or class introductions section. Every week, I list your homework and the due dates up here at the top in hot pink, so you can't miss that hot pink. Week one work, discussion board class introductions for this week. Just give us a short paragraph about yourself through the discussion board. And that is due Sunday, January 17th by 11.59 p.m. By the next Sunday, you should respond to every other student's post. So just give them a little greeting back. It's good to talk to each other, get to know each other a little bit. You can always email each other or text each other if you have questions. Sometimes you can help each other out or ask for advice on your web design. Textbook work from this week is due by Sunday, January 24th by 11.59. Chapter 1 doesn't really have any step-by-step -step to turn in, so just take some notes and upload the copy of your notes for your Blackboard submission. Chapter 2, there are some step-by-steps to save, so you can upload those through your Chapter 2 submission. Here's the outcomes for the week. I list your first chapter here with some information about that chapter. There's also some digital resources you may need for that chapter. Those are also located on your CD on the back of the book. There's the topics covered in that chapter. There's a tutorial for that chapter that may help you through that. It's not the whole chapter, but it may be some more helpful hints for that chapter. That's also available on your CD. Right here you would submit your chapter work through here. You click on this pink submit your chapter one work here and it'll walk you through uploading your notes or your step-by-step -step for the 
for each uh, textbook section. Here's your textbook two, chapter two, signing up a new site. And once again, here's the digital resources. You can download those through here or the back of your book. There's a CD. Here's the topics covered in that chapter. Tutorial for that chapter. Once again, this does not cover everything in the chapter, just some extra information. And you click on this link to upload your chapter two work. Now, once you start working on your websites in Dreamweaver, you will save those into a root folder. To submit that, you right click on your root folder and compress it. Right click and repeat, re, uh, compress it as a zip file. And then you can upload that zip file easily through Blackboard through this link. Okay. I also have some interesting technology issue information here. Some short videos that talk about the rise of the internet and the world wide web. We are living in the information age where technology and communication is in a constant state of flux and advancement. Watch these videos below to go back in time to the dawn of the digital age. Learn how the internet developed and who invented the world wide web. So I would like you to watch these so you can learn some of the basis of how we got to where we are with the internet, the world wide web, and web design. You'll find out who invented the World Wide Web, how the internet came about. And you'll learn about the first message sent through the internet. And we'll see some fun old news reports and commercials from way back in 1995 and 93 that talks about the dawn of the internet. And you may remember some of these commercials if you're old like I am. Okay. And we have some case studies here that some just some effective websites that will relate to our first big project, which will start next week. So you can look at some of these links, click on some of these links for some examples of websites that are concerned with history. Okay, that will relate to our big project one, which you'll start next week. All right, so this completes the items for this week. So once you finish perusing this information, watching the videos, doing your textbook and submitting your textbook work, and also clicking on the discussion board here, and submitting an introductory discussion board, introduce yourself, answer some of these main questions, and that completes your work for this week. All right, so best bet, get started, get that Dreamweaver downloaded, get that textbook as soon as possible, get everything done, keep up with your week-to-week -week work. The more you fall behind or put things off, the harder it's going to be, so make sure you keep up. Please contact me with any questions, any problems with this course, any concerns about the work, your grade, the projects, or anything like that, please feel free to email me. Come in for office hours, call me, text me, or set up a virtual meeting through Blackboard or Skype. So there should be no reason to fall behind. Contact me at any time. All right, so this is Professor Abel, and thank you for watching.